We are down here in Dallas, Texas with my good friend Richard who's gonna show me how to properly smoke a brisket. So we got here, um, what is that, like a... 13 pound. 13 pound brisket. All right, so we're in Texas. They know how to do this stuff. Not messing around. Okay, so we started prepping that last night by putting a dry rub on it, which is basically, um, let's see, salt, pepper, um, cumin, coriander, chili powder, uh, what else we got? got basil? Like basil on dry there. basil? Yeah. I think that was about it. A lot of, mostly salt, you know, salt and pepper is about half of it. And half other spices. Alright. And, uh, so that was last night, so what's this what you want to do? Is just put the dry rub on there the night before. Get it all over everywhere and all the, you know, just cover it up entirely. Here. The don't, fat don't, side, don't exactly. Cut the fat off. You know, you can trim it a little bit, but keep the fat on there. Okay, so now... We're about to toss it right onto the grill. Which, uh, we got the charcoal going nice and hot. Since we're gonna smoke it, don't put it directly over the heat. You wanna put the heat on one side and the meat on the other. Alright, put the fat in near the flame. So that's gonna need the most heat. Center in further away. Since we're smoking the brisket, you can't smoke without wood chips. And nothing says Texas like mesquite wood chips. So it's been soaking in water for a little while, and now we're gonna toss in some uh, toss it on the foil. Toss that right over the fire, right over the charcoal. Yeah, we'll probably leave it in there for about six hours and then move it into the oven so we can sleep. Six hours. We're gonna create a little sauce here. We're gonna mop on to the brisket about every hour or so to get the flavor, nice flavor going on the outside and keep it from drying out. A little bit of cayenne, a little bit of chili powder, mainly salt and pepper is kind of the... Uh, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, yeah. Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Got your shiner, good Texas beer. Yeah, there we go. That's the flavor right there. And I do about the same amount of cider vinegar as beer. Top it off a little bit of olive oil, canola oil, whatever you want to do. Mix it up! So it's been about four and a half hours. We've uh, mopped this thing twice already, so we're going for a third mop. Let's just see how it goes down. Ooh, damn, son! That smells good. Pour this right on. Ah. So that right there has got the sugar and all the spices and just give it that nice crust that you see right there. Damn. Yeah, so right there, you got all the, all the fat there and all on the surface, you got this nice crust, nice crust just from the, the sugar and just from the fat. And, mm. Hey, make, make some yummy noises. Mm. That good. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> This thing has been smoking for the last six hours. As you can see here, it's got this nice charred crust on the outside. Basically, it's gonna absorb, it's already absorbed all the smoke it's going to absorb in six hours. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna finish it off in the oven, nice and slow, 200 degrees for another 12 hours. So, we'll be back in the morning, and we'll carve this mother up and uh, stuff our faces. All right, after 12 hours in the oven for 200 degrees, we're ready to devour this monstrous piece of meat. All right, so pull it out 20 minutes ago to let it rest, and now we're gonna start carving it up. Oh, that's delicious. Eat some. That's good meat. There it is, kids. Get out there. Get a 13 pound piece of brisket and some mesquite wood chips. Make Texas proud. Mm hmm. Alright, stop recording.